Hey, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. If you guys enjoy anything streetwear or sneaker related, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below. And while you're down there, leave a like as well. That would definitely mean a lot. But with that being said, today I wanted to make a video for you guys showing you how you can collect sneakers or get into the Hypebeast fashion trends without having to break the bank. Therefore, you can be on a budget and still collect the sneakers that you want to collect at the end of the day. Now, the main key when it comes to doing this is saving your money. Now, I know that this might sound a little bit cliche, but just hear me out. Now, let's say that you spend $50 to $60 a week on fast food. If you cut out fast food, that's $240 or $200 a month just by doing that. Now, let's say that you spend $20 on Uber every week that you don't really have to, but you do it just because. Now, I'm a victim to this, and I tried to cancel it out, and that's how I get most of the things that I get. Now, just by canceling some fast food and one Uber ride, you have $300 extra a month to play with. And with that money, you can buy a pair of sneakers and a Supreme shirt, or you can buy a couple things. Now that could be the start of your collection. Now what you have to do is buy things to resell. And with that money, you could basically buy something for yourself and keep buying things to resell off of the same money that you started with. So the first step would definitely be to save. All the extra money that you spend on the necessary things, you could put towards your sneaker collection or becoming a hype beast if that's what you really wanna do. The second step would definitely be to bargain. Now I know that when we get a lot of money sometimes, we're just like, yeah, I'ma buy it regardless of the price. Now that's something not smart to do for the simple fact that you're spending money that you don't necessarily have to spend. For example, I had enough money to pay $400 for some Yeezys but instead I waited for the right moment and I offered the right price and instead of paying 400 I ended up getting them for like $340 now you could go ahead and save that $60 for something else that you would like to buy and if you save $60 on one thing 40 and 30 on something else you basically have another pair of sneakers right there. The second thing would definitely be to bargain or negotiate. Now, don't be afraid of getting somebody who says straight up no, but one thing you can't do is lowball. Now, if somebody's selling something for $400, do not go ahead and offer them like 280 or 260, like at least try to be reasonable with the price. The third thing I would definitely recommend is to be patient. The right opportunity would come to you if you just wait. That's definitely a key when trying to get things that you like, for the right price. If you just wait on it, you would definitely find it for the price that suits you. Now remember, you're not gonna find $400 sneakers for $100. That's just unreasonable. But you could definitely find that $400 sneaker for $300 and that's a huge save in my opinion. So remember, be patient, always bargain and negotiate and save your money. That's definitely the most important part to this whole thing. Cause without saving your money, you will definitely never be able to achieve it. A lot of the things that I'm able to buy, I usually get for a steal for the simple fact that I wait for the right opportunity. And when I do find the opportunity, I still bargain. Because if they're listing it for that price, they definitely wouldn't mind getting $10 $15 less than what they listed it for. As long as you're reasonable, at the end of the day, you could get anything you want. So with that being said, that pretty much concludes this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below any questions that you might have. And while you're down there, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. It would definitely mean a lot. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out.